So should you buy an old Volvo? Let's find out. Welcome back to another new car automotive video, previously Bennett's Wheels. And you join me in my recent purchase, the 25 year old Volvo V70. So let's get into 10 things I love about this 25 year old high mileage hero. I love its shape, number one. Look at that, it's timeless. It's basically a box on wheels. <laughs> You can't beat the Volvo V70 shape. Similar to the 850, a little bit smaller, a little bit more modern, but still the ultimate wagon. In my opinion, the pinnacle of all estate cars. Number two, I love its interior. It's so old school. 25 years old and everything works on it. Number three, I love its seats. They're so comfortable. This hasn't got the option of the heated seats, but um, they are electric. Number four, it's got a spoiler. Basically, it's to keep its back end down when it's planted on the motorway at 150 miles an hour. Yeah, right. Number five, it's massive. <laughs> you fit anything you like in it. Great for bikes, dogs, kids, surfboards, motorbikes. Number six, it's got a tow bar for towing stuff. Number seven, it's got cruise control. And number eight, the naturally aspirated 2.4 five cylinder petrol engine. She's a beauty, silky smooth. 286,000 miles. That's from me topping up the, uh, the engine oil, but it's dry, completely dry down there. Not one leak. It's dirty, so we are going to give it a full engine bay detail. But, mind blowing. So cool. I think everybody needs a Volvo at some point in their life. Even shutting the bonnet's satisfying. Listen to this. It's like a tank. And number nine, the way it sounds. Listen to this. Not bad, not bad. 2.4, naturally aspirated. Got a bit of a grumble. And number 10, How it drives. <laughs> Go on, you old girl. Viva la Sweden. <laughs> That's a little MR2 there. Don't see many of them around these days. This thing is a hoot to drive. It, it's not the fastest thing in the world. It makes all the right noises. The gearbox is so smooth. Every gear change is completely seamless. It's got 286,000 miles on the clock. How is that possible? I've driven cars with 80,000 miles on the clock that feel worse than this. Obviously, you may be able to hear the odd squeak and rattle, but it has been well used, I will say that. But it's just true testament to uh, the way the Swedes build the cars. And don't forget, I paid just £700 for this car. It just goes to show you don't have to rush out and spend so much money on something that's going to do the same job as this. Just as I say about build quality, my wing mirrors come loose. <laughs> on the whole, the build quality is quite good. And yes, you should buy an old Volvo. They're fantastic cars. They've got character. They've got charm. They've got stories to tell. This car has done the equivalent of driving around the world 11 times. 
11 times around the world. This thing's been to the moon and it's making its way back. I've done a couple of thousand miles in this car over the last few weeks and it's not had one hiccup. Got me to where I wanted to be in comfort. It's got the cruise control for the motorways. It sits at just over 2000 revs at 70, which is brilliant. It's not revving its uh, nuts off. It's done all right on fuel economy. It gets about 30, which is, you know, it's an old, it's an old car. But it's given me everything I need out of it. Automatic, lovely to drive when you're sat in traffic. Who wants to drive a manual when you're sat in traffic? The sound system's brilliant. The speakers are good. What's not to like for 700 quid? I love buying these old cheap cars. I don't know what's wrong with me. But it is nippy when you put your foot down. 5,000, 6,000. There's 50. There's 60. It's 25 years old with 286,000 miles on the clock and it still does that. So impressive. Come on, go out and buy yourself an old Volvo. Look. Thanks everyone for watching. If you haven't subscribed, do me a favor, go and hit the subscribe button. See you in the next video where we're gonna give this old girl a good old full deep clean. Adios.